help. My help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee Come on from now. all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out mm -hmm. and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. I read to you Psalms 121, 1 through 8. The word is already blessed. Father God in heaven, we come to you again, Lord, on today, just yeah. to thank you again, thank Lord, you. for you being who you are and mm. how you are, Lord. We want to first thank you again for your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, for coming down, dying for our sins, Lord, and being risen again, making a way back to you, Lord. So right now, Lord, on today, we ask you to come in, that you have a seat, Lord, so that we can worship you for who you are, our God. And right now, Lord, we ask you that you be with every person, every church, every house that's open in your son, Jesus' name, Lord, and that you just come in and have a seat. We pray for those that's on their way, Lord. We continue to pray for our pastor, the under shepherd over this house, Lord. We ask you that you continue to give him that spirit of teaching, Lord, and understanding and breaking down the word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for his heart, Lord, and his yeah, mind. Thank you. And so right now, Lord, we ask you that you touch him, that you give touch. him the word to speak unto yes. your people as we worship you on today in your son, Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
we start our word today just to invite my nurse up to up to here. Come on up here. Amen. Amen. Fortunately, the president don't don't overrule pastor. Amen. Yeah. But we just wanted to let you know that we love you by giving you this card. That Amen. 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 And so we signed it. Just want to make sure that you know that you're loved and that we appreciate and congratulate you Amen. on your ascension to the president of your building. Amen. And we know that you're going to do a great job. Amen. Amen.
he how now how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Amen. This is the word of the Lord in your hearing. Amen. Heard a lot about love, and uh, we have talked about love, and we have uh, shared what love is, and you know. Songs have been written about love over the years, and uh, I always think about one of the songs about love that, that stands out to me is the song that said, I want to know what love is. Yeah. Um, and there are a lot of people in this world who actually are looking to experience love, and, and they're trying to find it in all the wrong places. Yeah, yeah. They look for love in drugs, they look for love in, in somebody else or being close to somebody else. They look for love in a job or for yeah. money. They look for love in accomplishments and things like that or the recognition or if somebody don't say that they appreciated the work you did, yeah. they, they get upset because they're looking for love in different places. Yeah. And, 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 and people don't seem to understand what love is. Right. And, and so it's important for us to know what love is. Yeah. It's, it's important for us to know that Love transcends husband and wife. Love transcends mother and daughter or uh -huh. mother and child. Uh -huh. Love transcends a, a husband or a father to his children. Uh -huh. Love transcends all of those things uh -huh. and is greater than all of those things yes. put together. Uh -huh. Love is, the Bible says, of God. And, uh -huh. if, and if love is of God, then love has some ways of revealing itself. Yeah. And as you've often heard me say it, you can, you can tell me you love me, but it's better for you to show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, ask a woman who has a guy in her, in her, in her life, and, and he never does anything to show her that he mm -hmm. loves her. He doesn't take her out, doesn't buy her flowers, or doesn't give her a gift, or doesn't mm -hmm. do anything that lets her feel some something different that she is special to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or flip the script, and the same is true yeah. of a of a husband or, you know, in, in terms of his wife, and you can say I love you, but if you, you, you want to run around, you want to do other things, you yeah. got other stuff going on, and, and you're not showing the love to your husband, then there's something wrong with that. Or yeah. The same thing is true with our children. Mm -hmm. You know, we yes. talk about we love our children, but then we don't, we don't want to watch them or take care right. of them or, yeah. or tell them when they're doing wrong. And yes. Our yes. generation today, this generation that we live in, uh, uh, the children are, are the ones who are actually telling the parents what they're going to do. Amen. Yes, Amen. And, and, and the Bible says, spare the rod and right. spoil the child. And yes. So when we stop ch chastening our children, yep. I ain't talking about beating them to death. Come on. I want to be clear about that. I'm, oh, I just want to make sure we're clear. And that's not what the Bible is talking about, beating them to death. But uh -huh. we also want to make sure, though, that they understand who is the parent and who is the yeah. child. Amen. Love conquers a lot. The Bible tells us that in 1 Corinthians 13, that yes. love keeps no yeah. record of wrong. They don't yes. throw stuff yes. back up in your face. Yes, right. Love has so many qualities and characteristics mm. that are beautiful and that are, are loving. And, and in this world that we live in, to love somebody or to show love to people you you tend we tend to want to get it back. Oh, we want to have somebody love us back. And, and but the, the thing about love is love does not require that you love me back. Amen. Amen. I, I'm getting I'm going somewhere and I'm gonna show you in a minute. But but we tend to think that if you don't give me what I want, then you don't love me. If you don't do for me what I want to do, what I want done, then you don't love me. And the Bible conveys to us. That love is beyond you. You know, a, a tip for tat. Or, you know, you give me and I give yeah. you. You do for me, I do for you. Love, love is stronger than that. Love Amen. is greater than that. Amen. But in the world Amen. that we live in, love can be looking like it's weak. Yeah. It, look, it looks like it doesn't have any strength mm -hmm. because it looks like somebody gets to walk all over you. Yeah. Uh, you know, you remember the song? These boots are made for walking. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah that, 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 we we tend to think that there's the love or just if I love somebody then I, then if they walk over me then that means I'm not strong. Amen. But actually it takes more love yeah. 
to be able to endure through things yeah. than it does to just quit and walk away. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. and, and if you could imagine, as, I, as I'm sharing this with you, if you could imagine, think about Jesus Christ who loved us, the Bible says that God loved us so he sent his son, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if Jesus, when he was going through and he was mm -hmm. talking to people and he was teaching and he was sharing, if Jesus, because right away, uh -huh. his disciples didn't get it, if he would have just said, I'm done with y'all. I love you, but I gotta go. I love you, but I ain't, I ain't got no more time for messing around with you. Because you just don't get it. Oh Think about those. He was yeah. with them three plus years. And over those three plus years, he's telling them things about the kingdom. Yeah. He's telling them things about his impending death. Yeah. He's telling them things that they need to know about love and about who God is. And, uh -huh. and he's teaching them that, yeah, people might throw stones at you, but don't throw stones back. Yeah. What did he say? That he who is without sin do what? Can't That's the first stone. Right. Right. So love goes beyond, I got to get you back because yeah. you get me. Yeah. Yes, yes. Love is, is stronger than that. Yeah. And that's what I want to talk about today is true love. Yeah. That's the title of my message today, true love. Amen. And the first point I want you to notice out of what John is telling us is what John's view of God's love is. Mm -hmm. So look at 1 John, the first the, the, in chapter 3, the first verse. Behold. What manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons that could be read and daughters of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. We walk around as believers in Jesus Christ thinking that people should see, be able to see our love and accept our love because we say we love people. Uh, we walk around believing that that's just going to happen, you know, yeah. that, that the world who does not know Jesus Christ yeah. as their Savior, mm -hmm. but we do, is going to walk or accept or move in such a manner that we are called to walk upon. Uh -huh. yeah. So we are, you know, I could go cuss somebody out uh, just because they did something wrong to me, but then that does not show the love of God yeah. that is supposed yeah. to be in me. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all can't hear me. I don't yeah, can't hear me. Yeah. But, but that's what it says. And so John shares with us this view of love from God's point of view. Yeah. Uh -huh. He says, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed uh -huh. upon us. Yes. So, so God, who is love, uh -huh. gives to us uh -huh. his love and uh -huh. shares in it. Love with us. Uh -huh. have, you, have you ever felt the love of God in the midst of a situation or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that yeah. You, you know, you you know it's like tough, it's yeah. hard, and, and yet some peace, yeah. some calmness mm -hmm. comes over your life, and in the midst of all of the yeah. stuff that's going on around you, and this washes just over you, this yeah. love of God. Yeah. Like it's gonna be alright. I know yeah. it feels yeah. tough right now. I know you, but I'm with you. Yes, and yes. so so John tells us his his view of love of the love of God is is to say that God's love is this way yes. that he bestows it upon us as believers in Jesus Christ his mm -hmm. son yes. that he be bestows it upon us he gives it to us mm -hmm. he shares it with us so that we would know what God's love is yes. uh -huh. and then not just that but but it's love. It's sort of like being adopted into a family that you that you married into, and, and you married into the family, and then you got relatives now that you didn't have before, uh -huh. and how they they respond to you. Uh -huh. Do they do they receive you as a part of the family, or are you still that um, that stepchild, that that, uh -huh. that, that that person that yeah, well she might have married him, or he might have married her, but I ain't got nothing to do with her. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He says that when God bestowed it upon us, he called us sons yeah. and daughters of God. Yeah. We, we got adopted into the family yeah. of God, yeah. not because of anything that we did, yeah. not because yeah. we were so good, yeah. not because we had, uh, you know, we had it all going on, but we were adopted into yeah. the family of God and called sons and daughters of God yeah. because God's love is just like that. Yeah. He, yeah. He's given yeah. it to us. Shared it with us, and so he, he tells us this. And, and that love that you see, what manner of love mm -hmm. is 
this agape love, that unconditional, I, you know, it doesn't matter what yeah. you do. Right. I'm going to love you anyway. I'm going to yeah. care about you anyway. Oh, that we had that kind of love yeah. in this world today. Yes, yes. But we have the love that is about it, revenge or vengeance. Yeah. Yeah. You did to me, so yeah. I want to do to you. You, yeah. you, you, you made me upset, so I'm going to make you upset. Or I'm going to do something to get back at you. And not realize that the strength of love is in, in being able to hold my Amen. peace. Yeah. Yeah. That you really yeah. want to have to, and, and how do I know that? Because here's like restraining yeah. against the urge to want to lash back out. Yeah. You know how I know that? Because while we were yet sinners, the Bible yeah. says God loved us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why? So he didn't wait for you and I to get our lives together. He loved you before you actually got it together. Yeah. And loved you and I enough for him to be able to say, I'm going to wait for him. I'm going to love on him. I'm going to keep giving them grace and mercy until they come into a knowledge of who I am. Yeah. Yeah. And it took many of us yeah. Yeah. a long time to get to a place where we knew yeah. and could experience it. Yeah. But John's view of love also is found in 1 John 4 and 8. It says that he loveth he loveth not uh, he loveth no not knoweth the love of God for God is love. Yes. Mm -hmm. He that knoweth not knoweth not the, not God for God is love. Mm -hmm. So in order for you to be able to know what love is, you got to know God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know we talk about it, but the world talks about love too. But the world doesn't know God. And so the love that they're talking about is the stuff where you do for me, I do for you. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you treat me right, I'm going to treat you right. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, or I'm going to abuse the love that you actually have for me yes, right. by doing things that do not, that I want I want to just find out, do you really love me? Let me right, do these right. things yeah, that right. are not right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's how the world does it. But he says that God is love. And if yeah. God is love, then God is a personification or the embodiment of what love is. Yes, and then he says, if you read this 1 John 3 passage, we actually, because we are sons and daughters of God, God has bestowed upon us that love too. Which means, yes. rather than believing that you can't love that way, God has bestowed upon us yeah. the ability yes. and the opportunity to love as yes. he loves. Yes. 1 John 4.16, and we have known and believe that God hath to us, God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Yes. See, God is the embodiment. He embodies that, um, he, that love that we have. When you, when you love of God, when, when the love of God is pure in your heart, when Jesus Christ is moving, manifested in your life and in your heart, that's, that's important for you to know because yeah, yeah. now you get the impression or you get the understanding that Jesus Christ in you yeah. is the embodiment of love yeah. and that helps that's us exactly. to love even yeah. when we want to do something yeah. different. Yeah. Yes. So my wife makes me upset <laughs> and, 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 and my response in her, in her being upset and saying or doing, and I'm not talking about that, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Y'all can read into it what you want to. But, uh, <laughs> point of it is, if she says something or does something, or, or if someone that you love says something or does something that you don't like, the question becomes, how do you respond? Yes. And I believe that the more yeah. mature and the more Christ-like yeah. we become, the less likely I am to lash back out to try to get back at who it is that lashed out at me. The Bible says it talks about the tongue. Yes. And, the, and the power of the tongue. Life and death yeah, yeah, is in yeah. the power of the tongue. Yeah. So I can speak something against yeah. or hurt yeah. and harm, and then it always comes back. Yeah. I remember every hurtful thing somebody has said to me. Mm -hmm. Now how I respond to it is different. Yes. That's my choice. Yeah. But I, I haven't forgotten it. Mm -hmm. but, I, but how I respond yeah. to it is different. Right? And, and, you know, and when you're angry or when you're upset, we yeah. say stuff that we probably, well, no, we shouldn't say. Right, that's right. But we have said. And, yeah. and once you put it out there in the atmosphere, yeah. it's out there forever yeah. and yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Right? You, you, you look, I'm reminded yeah. of how we were watching something. Oh, I know it. It was a comedian we saw on the ship. And he was talking about relationships. And he, he said, 
that women think three weeks ahead of men. And yeah, he was yeah. talking about, he said, you know, everything could be going real good yeah. for like, you know, the, that whole day. And the woman is already thinking ahead about something that she believed you was going to do as a man. And so she mad about that three weeks before it even happened. <laughs> it, was, amen, it, was, amen. it was a comedian. So, you know, you, you got to walk with that thing. But, but the, point of the, the, the point of what I'm getting at is sometimes we'll say things that then come back later right. on that yeah. we remember yeah. and that they were hurtful. Yeah. And it's because we open our mouth and then we let it out yeah. Yeah. into yeah. the right. atmosphere instead yeah. of just yeah. keeping quiet right. and, and letting it just pass. So John's view of God, God's love, is that God has given his love in our hearts. Yes. And then, if there's something else about this that, that I saw in 1 John then in, in, in 3.10, and it says, In this the children of God are manifest, yes, and the children of the devil, who, who doeth not righteousness, is not of God, yes. neither he that loveth not his brother. All right. What makes us the children of God? Amen. It is that God who is in us makes us stronger and makes us then his children. We yes, are adopted yes. into the family of God. We yes, are, yes. God has moved in our lives. God has given us something and bestowed right, on us. Right. Not because you and I were so good, as I oh, said amen. earlier, but because God's love is so true. Yes, and so yes. we become his Thank children. And so when I'm, when I'm his children, when I'm one of his children, one of the things that I had always believed, even though my mom passed away early in my life and my dad passed away early in my life, was the name Doss needs to stand for something good. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to go to jail because I didn't want to make their name bad. I didn't want to get caught doing something that was bad because I didn't want the Doss name to have that attached to it. I felt that it was important for, my, for me to do right by the name uh -huh. Doss. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying that I did everything right because I didn't do everything right. And just because I didn't get arrested don't mean I didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. But my point in that is that as, as Willa Blanche and, and Willie Doss uh, Sr., as, as they had birthed me into the existence, I wanted to make sure that because they were not around, I carried their name with Amen. some sense of, of, you know, quality mm -hmm. and not disrespect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be a mass murderer. Yeah. I didn't want to be the person that mm -hmm. somebody looked at and, right. you know, could say, you know, he did it and he never got his life together. Yeah. I wanted to be somebody different. And that's what makes us God's children. Yeah. When you accept him into your heart, when the spirit of God is moving in you, you don't want to do wrong Amen. because you are a child of God. Amen. 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 I'm always astounded by people who claim to be children of God, and then when they're not in the presence of God's people, they do stuff that ain't got nothing to do with yeah. God. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Come on. And Come on, Pastor. then we yeah. wonder why people don't want to come yes. to church. Yes. We wonder why people don't want to give their lives to Jesus Christ. They're yeah. looking at us, yeah. and we look like them. Come yeah. on, Pastor. Except we look like hypocrites because Amen. we're doing all this yeah. other yeah. stuff, yeah. and we're not representing Christ yeah. well yes, sir. at yes, sir. all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. But what makes us the children of God is is he said, I'm going to come and take a residence uh -huh. in your heart. Yeah, amen, amen. I'm going I'm to be, I'm going I'm to be there to give you yeah. guidance. Yeah. I'm going to be there to show you the way. Yeah. I'm going to be there to show you what the love of God is like. Uh -huh. And I want, I, I don't want you to just stay right there. I don't, that's not all that I want you to do. And that brings me to the last point, that this is true love. Look at what true love actually is. 1 John 3.16. Yes, 1 yes, John 3.16. Mm -hmm. Hereby we perceive the love of God. Meaning we, we, un, we begin to understand. We begin to see yeah. something about the love of God. We, we perceive that it's something that about it that I, I may not have known in the beginning. But, but I'm getting a sense of something about the love of God. He said, hereby we, we, we love. We hereby perceive we the love of God. Because he laid down his life Ooh, yes. for yes. us. Yes. Yes. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. All right. yes. Yes. I'm always reminded of the fact that in the Lord's Prayer, the disciples' prayer, mm -hmm. it says, forgive those as we forgive uh -huh. the others. Right? I mean, yeah. trespasses. But, but basically, the, the premise is, 
forgive others so that you can be forgiven. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? And, and here, John tells us that because he laid down his life for us, we have a conditional peace yeah. that we yeah. ought to be willing to lay down our life for our brethren. Yeah. Yeah. That means that i got to be able to sacrifice yeah. sometimes for somebody else. Yeah. I need to be willing to let go of some yeah. stuff I want so right. that maybe somebody else can get through. Amen. So Amen. we ought to be willing to lay down our lives for yes. that. If we've yes. seen that if you listen to, to first responders who go through stuff. Shooting yes. is going on. And where the police, many of the police wind up going, they go into the fire. Yes. They go into the shooting. They go in to yes. try to save yes. people. Yes. They go in and first responders, ambulances get yes. there. They try to help people who are hurting. And so John tells us that there is something about the love of God that we need to understand. God is the person of Jesus Good. Christ Thank for you. us. Yeah. And, and, and so how then do I respond? How do I respond to a God who said, I will lay down my life for you because I love you. That is true love. That, that's not, I'm going to wait for you to get your life together and then show me that you love me. He said, no, I'm going to lay down my life right now for you. While you are in your sin, while you are messing up, while you didn't get it together, while you still out here on the creek, while you still out here on drugs, while you still out here stealing, while you still out here seeking money, while you still out here doing all of these other things, I still will lay down my life for you because I love you. True love. Lay down my life. You think I'm joking. I'm telling you, John is telling us in John, 1 John 3.16. But then, as you all know, yeah. one of the most famous verses in the Bible is John 3.16. Yeah. What does it say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but everlasting life. Have what? Everlasting life. What? Everlasting life. Everlasting life is that God said that I'm going to come down through 33 generations yes. and I'm coming to, to make a way for you out of no way. Yeah. I wanted to make sure that even though Willie yeah. Doss don't know who I am just yet, even though he's not even called into existence yeah. just yet, yeah. I know that he's going to need my salvation yeah. in, in advance. And so even though he's going to do stupid stuff, even though he's going to mess up and do some stuff and go wayward, I'm going to keep calling him until he comes to the yeah. saving knowledge yeah. of who I am. Yeah. I know that for God so loved the world that he yeah. gave his life for me. Yeah. He, he, if it would have just been me, he would have done it just yeah. for me. But it wasn't just me. It's you. He gave his life so that you could be free. He gave his life so that you would have access to the kingdom of God. He gave his life to show what love really is. Yeah. You want to know what love is? Okay. Love lays down his okay. life for yeah. him. You want to know what love is? Love is found on the cross yeah. when you didn't commit any sin. Yeah. But he gave his life so that somebody like yeah. me would be able to know that there's hope yeah. in the love of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You want to know what love is? Love got off the cross. Yeah. And when he went down into the grave, yeah. and the Bible said he got the keys to hell. show me you love me, uh -huh. then you're not really loving me because yeah. love is an action. Yeah. Love is a verb. Love is yeah. it means move. Yeah. Love means something right. happens. Uh -huh. Love means yeah. in the midst yeah. of it, I got to do something about what it is. I claim that I love. Yes. 
Love is that action that so Jesus Christ yes. came yeah. down into the world. Yeah. Yeah. Because he loved us. Yeah. 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 So loved God Thank sent him Lord. down here yeah. to show us what love is. Yes. But he also showed us what love does. Yeah. Yeah. That he laid down his life yeah. for you and me. Yeah. That he gave his life for us. This is the word of the Lord. That is what true love is. Hallelujah. Walk in that true love. Hallelujah. Walk in that true love that God has for you. Because he has it just for you. Yes. We extend the invitation to Jesus Christ. And the doors of the church are open. So we 